Okay, welcome to your next installment of Ubuntu for Newbies. Uh, today is April 26, 2012, and what happened today? The release of Ubuntu's 12.04. Um, I have downloaded, I've put it onto a virtual box to play around with it a little bit. Uh, this is the login screen right here, and uh, some things I wanted to show you real quick before we get into the meat of the matter. Um, if you go to my, my username is vDrive because this is my virtual drive. Right, so I click on that and you'll notice the background will change. Well, that background is the same that's on my desktop background. So now you have made it where now if I, if you have, you know, different users with different backgrounds, when they click on their names, they'll see that background. Just nice little cool little sexy little thing. Now the drawback of the default install of Ubuntu 12.04 is you only have the Ubuntu and the Ubuntu 2D which is basically Unity and the Unity 2D. You don't have the option, there's not classic, it's not by default. But I will show you how to get it to the regular one, to the uh, GNOME Classic. Alright, so uh, this is our desktop uh, and here's Unity, yay, Unity sucks. Um, your different accounts, different stuff, everything basically is the same. Um, they've just basically worked a lot on the stability. But what I do want to show you is here's a way to control some stuff for the uh, Unity Launcher icon size. You can move this and it makes it bigger or smaller. Of course, I always make mine small. Uh, and this right here is auto hide. If you turn it to on, it goes away. And it's, here's a reveal locations, left side or top left corner. Now, I'm using VirtualBox, so I don't know if this is a glitch or not, but if I go to the left side, there's nothing. Or right side. It, it doesn't come out up. I'm sitting here just waiting and waiting. Like I said, I don't know if that's a glitch or if it is just because I'm using VirtualBox. So I'm going to turn that off so it can come back up. Um, so we'll close these out. The other thing is, is if you, you right-click on these icons, you'll have more options. Instead of just going straight through the home folder, I can go to my documents, my downloads, music, pictures, videos, or home folder, however you want to do. Uh, still the same stuff. The other thing that they've worked on is the Ubuntu Software Center. It's supposed to it's supposed to come up quicker. Uh, like five seconds rather than the 10 seconds of the past uh, software centers. Uh, well, that's, you know, that's okay. Like I said, their main thing was they were going to work on stability, stability, and speed. So it all looks kind of okay. Here's what the, uh, the dash would look like. It's basically the same. You have now your video icon, your music icon, documents, or folders icon is basically what I like to call them, not documents. Uh, whatever that is and then your home icon it's a little bit see-through still the same piece of crap unity has always been now what I want to show you is how to install get to the GNOME Classic and the way you get the GNOME Classic you open up your Ubuntu Software Center type in GNOME if I can spell G-N-O-M-E dash P-A-N-E-L and you'll have a launcher here more information and add-ons, Empathy Web Browser, and the Evolution Mail. I'll go ahead and do both of those. And I'll apply these changes real quick. Well, maybe real quick. Like I said, this is a virtual box, so it's going to take, it'll be a little bit slower than if I put a permanent install. But I wanted to play around with this a little bit before I uh, put this on my uh, system permanently. Um, right now, I'm using uh, Ultimate Edition uh, 3.2 which I don't know, blows the stuff out of the water and I'll be doing a video on that later um, so we we'll just give this a second to finish um, let's see what else they have here as far as uh, installed let's see if it's got the compiz settings I do not see any compiz stuff There's nothing. There's really nothing. I mean, it just, like I said, I, I don't think they did a lot on the uh, 
changing anything. I think they work more on stability and trying to make sure everything works and works well, which is okay. I mean, they need to do that also, I understand. But like I said, not much has uh, changed. Uh, this is your brightness and lock. You can tell turn off the screen when it's active. I always go with never, and I don't want it to lock, and I don't want to require my password. Um, so turn all that off, back to all settings. Yeah, so this is all that kind of stuff. Oh, did you notice that? If I opened up a different, uh, let's go open up Firefox. Everything, the active window gets grayed out. See how this bar here is orange? Now watch this. Bloop. Now it's gray, kind of grayed out. We'll see how that works. But that'll be kind of interesting. So they still got the Firefox, still got your basic stuff that comes installed with uh, Ubuntu. Um, like I said, it doesn't look like anything has really changed uh, much in my humble opinion um, but just because they put a lot of work in making sure things work that's okay too now my whole point here is to show you how to install the GNOME Classic and get it up and running um, right now I'm very disappointed uh, with Ubuntu itself uh, as far as making the Unity the default crap um, so hopefully by doing this, this will uh, be able to get rid of this Unity. So now I want to install the GNOME uh, launcher panel. Boo doo doo, install, and that'll install. So give that a few minutes to install. Um, like I said, this is in VirtualBox, so it's a little bit glitchier than using uh, if I did a fresh install. But I didn't want to destroy my regular install uh, of Ultimate Edition 3.2 um, for reasons I'll explain in another video when I do the video on Ultimate Edition 3.2. But since this came out and this is the big thing right now, I really wanted to show it off to you guys and hopefully we'll figure it out. All right, so now I will go ahead and I'll close this and I'm going to log out and log out. Do, 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 do. All right, so now I have my GNOME Classic. Let's do GNOME Classic. All right, let's see if this loads in. All right, so now we've got what looks like the old uh, Ubuntu. Uh, I've got my applications and places, my regular bar, see applications, there they all are, my places, all right, that's interesting. Mail, uh, networking, volume, sound setting, my rhythm box, counts, System settings, displays, and my quick uh, changer here. So it's not too bad. Not bad at all. So hopefully this will allow you guys to be able to find what you're looking for. And then, of course, this is where you find your system tools administrations, preferences, uh, and all of that, system settings. So it's not, not bad. So that is Ubuntu 12.04 released today. And like I said, this uh, will allow you guys to quickly uh, go back to the GNOME Classic and getting away from Unity. Um, I'm pretty impressed with they made it pretty simple as far as just going to the software center, just installing one package, and you're back to the classic look. And I think that was a very good thing. I think it should be standard in their install, but hey, they don't, I don't run anything. I just report on it. Um, 
So hope you enjoyed this uh, edition of Ubuntu for Newbies, and I'll talk to you next time.